Hey guys, this is Dorian, also model business 82 from uh, the Black Hair Media. And a lot of people have been asking me how to properly flat iron, especially for coarser hair textures. Like I have the Kevin CN Kinky Straight in right now. And as a lot of people will tell you, it's actually can be really hard to keep it straight. So just so everybody knows what I'm using, first is the Babyless Pro. I got this from Ricky's, it's like $70. Um, there's different sizes, this is about an inch and a half. It goes up to 400 degrees, but I don't really put it over 360, and if you're flat ironing correctly, you don't need to go over 400 degrees at all. Um, you should always use a straightening serum when you flat iron your hair. So what I actually use is this Biolage Smoothing Serum, probably can't see it very well. But it costs about $60, 16, excuse me, $16 at um, Ricky's, which is where I got it. Or you could probably also get it at Sally's or any other beauty supply. Also, you're going to need a paddle brush. This is what I'm talking about when I say a paddle brush. Mine also has bristles in it, like normal bristles, if you can see it. But you need the bore bristles on the inside. If you don't have it, you're probably not going to get a straight a flat iron and it's not going to last as long. Um, I actually choose to use two different kinds of flat iron, I mean two different kinds of powder brushes. If I'm just brushing my hair, I have this one, which is just a plastic one from Conair. Um, I think I might have spent like $6. When I'm flat ironing, I always use the wood one, which also only costs like maybe $9. Something I learned from other hair that I used to wear is that before you start, make sure you get all your tangles out of your hair. As you can see, I've had my hair up all day, so it looks a mess right now so before I actually start flat ironing it I'm going to detangle it and I use this Paul Mitchell kids but you could use any detangle so just go ahead and get started You definitely want to make sure that you get all of the tangles out of your hair before you start flat ironing, otherwise it's a mess. And this is just like a general brush through because then as I go section by section, I brush everything through again to make sure that I got all of the tangles out of it. So I've done that. And yes, there is a little bit of shedding from Kevin's hair, um, even though you seal it, and that's just kind of natural. In a perfect world, it wouldn't shed, but whatever. So to get started, and yes, I have a lot of new growth. Um, I usually do like every three rows of hair, for weave hair, but you can do whatever with your own real hair, whatever you like. Um, so every three tracks, and you can just kind of feel it. And Put the rest up in some kind of fashion. And when you use the matrix hair, you actually don't, or the matrix serum, you don't need a lot of it just because if you use too much, the hair is going to get greasy and then you're going to fry the hair when you flat iron it and it's just going to look a mess. So I use like a half pump of hair, I mean of serum. And I run it through, and then I go through with the wood brush and brush everything through again just to make sure that you got all the tangles out of it. And just something I do, and whatever you feel works best for you when you flat iron is your business, but I usually divide the hair in half. Now this is the part that people are doing wrong because their hair is reverting. So, I've got my flat iron and my paddle brush. My paddle brush, I leave space for my flat iron to get in there. Don't burn yourself. And then I follow my brush all the way down the hair. And that hair is pretty straight and it's actually really hot. Again, I don't go over 360, but I also, you shouldn't go over the hair more than twice with the flat iron or else you are going to damage the hair eventually. 
This hair, just in case anybody's curious, if you wash it clearly, it goes back to its natural state. So you don't have to worry about, if you're using the right amount of heat, you shouldn't have to worry about the hair um, reverting or not reverting back to the way it's supposed to. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to let you see, but I don't want to burn myself. Okay, so you can see it now. I get closer and let the light in. The hair is clearly a lot straighter than the rest of my hair, which isn't that bad. Um, you know, get it done, whatever. And I will be back, let you guys see the finished product. Hey guys, I'm back, I'm actually almost done. Didn't feel like you had to see me do 30 minutes of flat ironing. But I'm actually in the last section, which is doing the bangs. And this is actually, interestingly enough, the only part of the hair that I do more than one pass. And I think I mentioned this before on the forum, but I do personally feel like Kevin's 1B acts somewhat different than his number one. And I don't know if you can see as well, um, but the top one fourth of my hair is in 1B and the bottom layers, which is the 16 and 18 inch are in number one. And the 1B is not horrible, but it acts differently. So this is like the only part of the hair that I actually really go out of my way to make sure that it stays down. And yes, I have a lot of new growth, which is why I cut bangs into it last week. And probably in the next week or so, I'll do a tutorial on how to do bangs, like the way I did them, which is to razor cut them. Or yeah, basically to razor cut them. So, just make sure I got everything. Yeah, okay. So, in 30 minutes, let's brush that down. I was able to flat iron oh, my hair. And the whole point is to use enough heat, not to overkill. As some people have been telling me that they have flat irons that go up to 400, 500 degrees and they're gonna put the whole 500 on there. Well, if you do that, you're kind of killing the purpose of buying hair that you can reuse because like your own hair, you're going to damage it. So, this is it. I'm done. Um, excuse me, I have hair in my face. So, <clears throat> just to recap, I honestly probably feel you could probably use any kind of straightening tool. It's just a matter of how high the heat can be, how consistent the heat is. This is a Tourmaline Babyless, which you can get, yeah, Tourmaline 500 Babyless, which, yeah, you can get from any um, any beauty supply you should be able to. But you could also get it from Ricky's. I think Falica.com also sells them. Um, the Matrix Hair Serum, which again, you could probably use something else. I just personally, my friend put me on to this, and I like it. Um, and then, a paddle brush and you could use anything you don't have to go get something ridiculously expensive this is eight dollars from a Dwayne Reed store but it works so I don't know if you can see or how well you can see but if you remember my before and this is the after and the whole point is I could still do styles with this if I wanted to I could come back with my my curling iron and do a style and it's gonna hold just again, don't use too much heat because then you're gonna kill the hair. You're not gonna be able to do any style to it. And I know from personal experience, not with this hair, but at one point I used to have the became Brazilian and I decided to be a cool girl and put too much heat on it and I lost the curl and the curl never went back to the way it was supposed to be. So don't. Um, anyway, if you have questions, feel free to PM me if you are a member of BHM or you can send me a note through YouTube. Or you can also send me an email at bigapplestyleworld at gmail.com. So have a great night and enjoy my following video. Bye.